Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you a quite regular question coming with 2023 which is hey, why, where are my 1D LM checks? Uh, because the panels are now gone and so you cannot access uh, the 1D element panel as previously. So here I did a basic model, just a plate, one rigid with at least one free node. Um, and two rows of CVM elements, one at the bottom, which are properly defined. If I switch to element, uh, you can see that all the elements are along the edges and on the top, you do not have the same. So here we should see some issues with this element. Let me rewind a little bit, go back to the classic interface, uh, go to 1D, uh, oh, sorry, it was in tool, check elements, and you had these three 1Ds in the past to retrieve the elements. So you had this one plus the three ones here, and you have the three 1D nodes, which were these ones. Point is, even with classic interface, you could retrieve the same information for the model checker, tools, model checker, obtistruct, and you just had to right-click anywhere, run, and you had access to your errors and warnings. So here you saw that there were some 1D elements, either late on these, so they were on top, or there were some free rigid elements, either late on these, and you had this 1D rigid. We apply the same with the new user interface, and as a first uh, point, the new user interface gathers all the check tools within the same ribbon, which was not the case previously. Uh, so this is a kind of plus. And if you want to run the model checker, you just have to go to model and uh, make sure that here it's set to all, otherwise it will ask you for an entity to check and you can hit run checks. And you will have access to the free 1D elements, so you can isolate them and you will see uh, the CBM or you can do the same with the partially free nodes um, either latently or free one the elements either latently they, they are the same show all and the one that can be easily solved right now is a partially free node of rigid you just have to right click on it apply auto correction and the node will be gone if you try to do it on the other um, entities you may not have auto correction and if you try to do it you may find um, that it will delete your elements, which is not what you want, so undo it, and you get access to them. As a last remark, uh, for checking the length of your 1D element, uh, you have still the option, but it's in the graphic now. Just go to this color mode option at the bottom, go to automatic, move to element quality, and just change to 1D. And doing so, uh, you will have the different criteria. So you see the rigid is max size. The 1D elements here are in gray because they are uh, between 2 and 30. So let's say, for instance, that I, my minimum is 10. So let me say that my min size is 10. And in that case, let's on this rigid change. But at least we have the CBIM here that are highlighted and not the top ones. So this is one way you can um, review and control your one the elements with the new user interface. Thanks for reviewing the video. Goodbye.